gang, welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will once again be talking about the brand Lug. But before I start, I just want to apologize for being a little MIA. I didn't have a quiet house to film in and I was actually waiting for something to come in from Lug Live. So the two items that I would like to discuss today, which are new to me, are the Flurry and the Charm Dangle. Um, I definitely have some thoughts on this, but let's go to the Flurry first. This is adorable. I got mine in Camo Taupe. I love the color scheme, so pretty. Love the Lug logo on the front. And this is a Charm Bar. Now, I will say, I did not like putting a charm on the charm bar. I get what they were going for. It's very easy. You just pull it right off and it does just slide back onto this little peg here. I just felt it was too cumbersome when I put it into a bag. It looks great. It's so cute, but it does stick out a bit so it could get caught on things that are inside your bag. So I did not like putting a charm on there, but I do think it's adorable. I will put a picture up somewhere here of what the wallet looks like empty and open. It's a really cool design, which I'll get to in a second. As I was saying, front charm bar logo. On the back, you have your clear identification window. What I really like about this is that there is a little thumb hole where you can slide that ID right up works really really well there's also another slip pocket in the back so you can put in you know like the card that you use the most so i did try to put my debit card in there um but i found it very cumbersome to get it in and out especially once you pack the wallet it makes this pocket a little tighter which is great for security but makes you fumble when you're trying to actually shop so when you open it, and I love this design. I didn't think I'd like it, but I really, really like it. It's so cute. It's definitely a little accordion. You can see I have it packed with all my cards. You would think that the cards would fall out. Now, I'm going to demonstrate because stuff does fall out, but I'll show you exactly where it comes from. So if you shake it, and I'm shaking it, the cards themselves don't come out, but what does come out are the receipts that I put at the very end here, and then I put some change in here. Now you can see I still have my little stamps in there, but the change in here also um, fell out. I do like that it has a little zippered change purse in here. It does make it a little bit, uh, again, cumbersome when you're trying to reach in there to get your change, but I use it, and as you can see, it is RFID protected. So all in all, this is a fantastic little wallet. It does fit in a multitude of bags. Now, I am one who carries a checkbook around with me, so I have had to kind of, you know, put my checkbook in like my day planner, but that's you know, not an issue, not a deal breaker in any way. I actually really enjoy this much more than I thought. Will it take the place of my Splits XL? No, but I have been carrying it. I just wanted to give you just one quick example as to what pocket it fits in really nicely. This is the Navigator and it just pops right into the front pocket. So if you wanna carry your Navigator, you can actually put this right on the outside for complete easy access. I also um, decided I'm doing a little brand smashing uh, to just carry a regular Vera Bradley small tote. Um, and what I have found, which is really, really convenient, if you look here, there's a pocket. It fits right in that pocket. Really nice, easy access in and out. Um, so overall, I do not think that this was difficult to get my cards in and out of. It was super easy, as a matter of fact. You just pop it right open and, you know, get my debit card out, any other card that I need right here at my fingertip. But again, just be cautious because anything you put in this very, very front portion or this very, very back portion where the name of the wallet is will fall out if it flips over. But I really like it and I'm going to continue to use it. The most difficult thing I found about using this wallet was putting my receipts in it. You just have to make sure they're folded up small enough to fit. That is my thoughts on that. I do recommend it, but I don't recommend putting a charm on. All right, so the next thing I would like to talk about is the dangle charm. This is 
adorable. It really is. I love the overall concept. I know that I've been kind of hoping that Lug would come out with purse charms because I love having little things dangle off my bag. I love the two-ended clip chain. Makes it really convenient. I have some suggestions for some other ways to use this too that I discovered, which I really loved. My only problem, and I know this has been discussed in our group and I'm sure everyone has figured it out by now, I do not like this class. You shake this, it opens. So can you imagine just like it jostling around on your purse and then it's just gonna fly open and we can't have that. So what someone initially suggested and I, and I did think of as well, was to put one of these split ring keychains on. It worked, it fit no problem. The only thing that happened, and I don't know if you can see it, is it scratched up the back of my charm, which is a little disappointing. But the front is super duper cute with these little sparkly rhinestones. The front is super cute. I love that it has the lug stamped into the back. So cute. I hope that they come out with more plain um, charms in different styles. But yeah, the thing is, if this was all just kind of like two little bars of metal, you could almost squeeze it together to make it a more tight you know, tighter fit on this little peg here, but because it's got this little circle, you can't really squeeze it to make it more secure. Um, so it makes me a little leery to use this because, you know, they're not super expensive, but they're not super cheap either. So I don't want to kind of throw my money away. Don't want to use the split ring key ring because it scratches up the back and, you know, it doesn't really look cute on the silver. So what I did do was take a suggestion of someone who posted in our Facebook group and I went on Amazon and I purchased these. These are amazing. I love these. They're little gunmetal carabiners, right? But the beautiful thing is it matches the little chain really, really nicely. You pop on your end and you just take your little charm, feed it through carefully because you still don't want to scratch because it still is metal it takes a little finagling there you have it and then you can clip it onto your bag so that's what i am doing to display this charm now the really cool thing is that this little chain that came with the dangly has more than one purpose in my mind the first thing I did with it is I attached it to the loop of my mini choo-choo and I hung this off my quick step. You also can affix one of these little carabiners on each end and use it for keys and a charm or something like that. So I definitely can see using this chain more than anything else. Um, because you can also put one of those little carabiners on your coin pouch and then hang that off something. Very useful. Love the concept of the charm. I really do like the shape of the charm holder. I just wish this clasp would somehow be fixed. That is that. Now, as a little added bonus, real quick at the end of this video, I wanted to touch on something that I finally did a long time ago, and unfortunately, I can't remember who suggested it. Someone had used their parasail as a little bag. They attached a strap to it and everything because the parasail, this is mine um, in butterfly gray, has little fabric loops on each end, which you can absolutely affix the clasps for the straps to it I don't know for some reason I was a little concerned doing that so I put these little carabiners on each end which I think look super cute and then if you want to get really fancy you take your strap from your swing if you have a swing put that on there oh, how adorable is that i'll put a picture somewhere here of what it looks like on the body i've also got you know my things dangling off of it but how cute is that now if you don't have a chain strap from the swing which hey lug please sell the chain strap separately because they're awesome and i love them but even the bigger one and a half inch strap even these hooks fit 
onto these little carabiners. And then, so if you don't have a swing strap, you can absolutely use a regular strap and it still looks, oh, I mean, seriously, look how adorable that looks. Cool thing is the flurry fits in there. You can fit a phone right in the front. This is as big as my iPhone XR. And then look at all that space you still have inside. So you can put hand sanitizer, coin pouch, as a matter of fact, coin pouch, if you're like me and you want to carry your phone stuff, you put your phone stuff in. I even can fit the smaller of the two seesaw pouches in here with all my little tchotchkes in there. I mean, it's it can hold so much and it feels good and it's very comfortable to wear. So that is everything for this video. Thank you so much as always for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And I hope you all have a really good one. Bye.